Welcome to another video from our BMC YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how to add custom field in the notification engine. We are constantly uploading content, so make sure to subscribe for more. So the first thing you need to do, you need to have your custom field added in your uh, desired module. In this case, we're here in the HPD help desk form. You can see I have my test field here. This is the actual field that I want to be the one to show in the notifications, right? The first thing you need to know, you need to go to the SIS form field selection form where you need to create an entry here. I created the entry. You can see that I use the selection type notification message selection. And this is all that it needs to be filled. And you must have it enabled. Then you need to go to the SIS notification messages form. And this is where you're actually going to add the, the contents of the, of the notification. You can see that in the email message body, I've chosen to add the test field uh, content. Now, remember to not uh, type directly into this field. You must click on the diary field, and this is where you can make your edit. You click on OK, and then you're going to save. Next, I'm going to show you that I've also created the custom field in the NTE process control form. Now, remember, this field must have the same data type and the same database ID as the one found in the help desk form. Lastly, what we need to do, we need to add the push field action into the filter so that when the uh, filter pushes data into this form, it will also carry the values for our custom field. So if we open Dev Studio and we locate this filter right here called notification generator uh, 899. I'm gonna have all of the required values in the next slide here and if we scroll all the way down we can see that I have the test field added into this filter. I just created an overlay here and I added this action to the last. Now let's try to see if it works. Let's test it out. This is the end result right here. You can see that the custom field is added into the notification. In this case, I've chosen a receipt for this example, but you can add it in a notification, a regular notification for a support staff user or a group notification if you want. On the next slide, I'm going to add the, the names of the filters that you need to modify in case you were working with work orders, change or release, or any other module. So this will conclude our demonstration for today. Now, for more information on the filters for the different modules, uh, please review the following documentation. We have the principal KA for this video, which is in the uh, description, and the system events and message catalog for the notification engine, which is found in our official documents for BMC. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this video. For more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Remedy and Discovery, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.